morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to this place I call the Mental House. With me, your host, Khadija. I'm glad. I hope each and every one of you, first of all, are doing well mentally as well as physically, giving all, all the stuff that's going on in this planet. And, and, and you have to start taking your um, situation a little seriously because um, I believe that there's a catastrophe waiting uh, to happen. And so those of y'all who know, start easing your little change out the bank and doing what you need to do to make sure when they shut the lights out in there because every great civilization must fall but I don't want to talk about that right now I want to talk about some worse <laughs> let it snow <laughs> y'all listen this happened to be one of the most bizarre crazy stories and I just want to congratulate these folks for escaping and um <clears throat> and and cuz this situation was just uh, too much it's called the house of secrets and there was nine children hidden for years in Oklahoma and they was found after a police tip. For the first time and only time, Coco 5, hear from the adult children life about life behind closed doors and a hero who would turn him. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Okay, this is insane. Okay, y'all remember flowers in the attic? Okay. A real life one. Um I Anyway, in August, this was this past August. Uh I'm assuming. Anyway, Oklahoma City Police got a tip that a man had multiple children with his stepdaughter. Okay? That report would unravel a family and shake an entire community. Um, again, for the first time and only time, Coco 5, hear from the adult children about life behind closed doors and the hero who would turn him in. The cul-de-sac in southeastern Oklahoma City looks like any other but inside the yellow house was a man with a secret. One woman, Dolores Cole, who would unearth the truth. It just took some paying attention. And believe it or not, he was telling on himself every single day. But no one listened, Cole said. A family of 11 lived in a yellow house. Mom, dad, and nine children who were hidden away from the world. They never left the house, only with him, a neighbor told Coco Five back in August. The children had never been to school, a doctor's office, or even a movie theater, all to conceal a secret they never knew was wrong their dad's relationship with their stepsister. Coco Five asked if they knew the younger children were their dad's children too. I already knew, but I didn't know there was anything wrong with it, said the 23-year-old who lived in the home. At 12 years old, their oldest sister had a her first baby with their dad, according to court documents. We just grew up uh, like it was normal to us, the 33-year-old who lived in the house at the time. Their oldest sister, 
gave birth to four more inside the home. Yeah, I think I was seven or eight. The 20 year old who lived inside the home said, oh, shit. Coco shot uh, uh, five, I'm sorry, sat down with three of the siblings who wanted to share their story. We asked why, I mean, if they ever questioned why they weren't allowed to leave the house. You know, it, it, did, you know did they ever question that? Dad always said he didn't want us to get hurt or because he was protecting us from people outside, the 20-year-old said. That would all change. I was looking for someone to paint the ceilings, and he answered the, the ad. Cole said. Cole hired the, uh, the father in 2017 as a contractor. She was opening several businesses at 10th Street and May Avenue. Hmm. They looked really crazy every day from the clothes they wore, the smell, Cole said. He started taking two of his teenagers' daughter, two two of his teenage daughters to work, and Cole picked up on something that she couldn't let go of. They couldn't read, they couldn't write. The speech was really bad. When I first met her, I thought she had an accent. Cole said. She would question the family's um, homeschooling. The father's persistent phone alerts and the van packed full of food and clothing. He tried to homeschool us and it went from trying to not doing. Cole said. It seemed like there was nothing overtly wrong. Every day it was driving me insane because there was nothing I could do about it. It was nothing I could tell the cops, Cole said. However, that step, that changed when she met the stepdaughter. Hmm. The first time I met her was in the hallway, and I go, man, she looks like she just had a child, Cole said. She was young, and he was looking at her like she was some kind of candy. I just started putting stuff together. Maybe those kids are hers and his. The family became distant, and Cole believed it was because she was asking too many questions. They came back two years later looking for work. Now, this time I said, okay, I'm not letting this guy get away with um, until I figure out what's going on. That's what Cole said. This time, the father told her the truth. He said, this is not my daughter. This is one of the kids. This is my lover, and that's my wife. And I said, what? After seven years, Cole had the proof she needed. I seen him kissing her, and I said, you know what? This is it. I called the police. Detectives began interviewing the family, worried he would take them out and run. Cole let them stay at one of her homes as she worked with police without the family knowing. On September 21st, police surrounded the home but the dad wasn't there. They asked me if I knew where he was, and I said, well, he was um, at the other house and said that he was coming back. So I called him, and I said, hey, the police are at the house. He said, did they see the kids? Coco 5, which is the station, I guess, asked, what the feeling was inside of that home. I was hurt because my dad took forever to come, the 23-year-old said. 
The adult children were left alone with their secret siblings, waiting for their dad to face up to the crime. I am amazed and I'm shocked that I'm looking at this entire family I have never even seen before. Cole said, I have seen bits and pieces and the condition that the little kids were in, I never imagined. Court documents revealed that the children had poor hygiene, foul order, and a lack of dental and were sleeping in one heavily soiled mattress on the floor. Investigators said that two of the children were nonverbal. After three hours, Dad finally showed up at the home. I stood there on the porch. I didn't get to see his face. I saw him from the porch, Cole said. That was one of the most satisfying days of my life to watch him get in that police car. Both mom and dad were arrested. The father was charged with three counts of um, SA, five counts of child neglect, and three counts of child abuse. His wife was charged with multiple counts of enabling neglect and SA. Those who lived in the home said they saw her as a victim and didn't think that she should be arrested. I never thought the dad would touch us or say anything sexual to us, the 20-year-old said. The court documents revealed a child told forensic investigators that her dad had touched her privacy because he was the doctor. How did you watch that? How did you hold your daughter's hand while she's having a baby by your husband? Cole said. Now the adult children live in Cole's home and work for her. I can't hate them because hate is a strong word. I can only forgive them. I can only forgive my dad and leave the rest into God's hands, the 23-year-old said. Now they're enrolled in school. I'm doing better and on my reading. I read a book yesterday, the 23-year-old said. I read a book yesterday. What the? They have their first IDs are learning how to drive and are working to get their sister's children back to her from state custody. You have a 26-year-old who can't read or write. How can she teach her kids how to read or write, Cole said. KOCO5 asked if they felt grateful that Cole intervened. Yes, because she was helping us out the 23-year-old said. Now Doris hopes the community can wrap around the family and lift them up as they navigate life for the first time. It's hard because I'm the one who did it, but I'm also the one taking care of them. I'm hoping that anyone who wants to help is a genuine help. They've already been lied to and hurt their entire lives. I'm hoping their journey and the people they meet along the way remember that. Oh, my God. My Lord. To help the family, you can contact 405-900-6801 or at Doris at my life after okay dot org. Or you can go to the website that can be found on the TV station website. It was just a house of secrets and abuse. I, um, I, um, I, I, I don't know what to say about this because 
these individuals now are going to go out into society as they have in their 20s and 30s. And they're entirely fucked up. Excuse my French. Okay, I'm done. I want to know what y'all think about it. Please let me know. If you like what you hear, subscribe and share. Uh, I'll see y'all in the next video.